that story you're seeing on two now. A homeowner claims an AT&T U-verse technician damaged her electric fence while getting into her backyard, and she has this video to prove it. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes talked to that woman and is joining us live now with a closer look at that video. Sion. And Lauren, this tech told the homeowner he had simply hopped over her fence, but the woman's surveillance camera showed what really happened when that guy thought he wasn't being watched. Charlotte Jones says her phone line wasn't working. This happens quite often. So she called for an AT&T U-verse service technician to come check out the problem. He did call me. I was not at home. I told him I'd be home in about 20 minutes. He said, fine, I will be here in about 20 minutes as well. But when she got to her home, the tech was already in her backyard behind her electric fence. I asked him, how did he get behind the electronic gate? And he just kind of gave me a blank stare. And then I asked him again, and so he told me he hopped the fence. He was a tall man, so I was like, mm, okay. After he left, Jones noticed the gate would no longer close, and that's when she checked her surveillance cameras. Sure enough, he had pulled my gate open, sprung it, like just, he just broke into it. And on top of that, he lied. Jones alerted AT&T, and the company sent an investigator to review the video, then sent her complaint and repair estimate to the claims department. But after weeks of wrangling, she was told... We're going to deny it because you have rust on the gate. Last week, she used her own money to fix the gate. I paid out of pocket $600. She wants other homeowners to be aware and has a message for other service techs. That's just a word of warning. You are small, you on candy camera. <laughs> Now, there has been some action on this case since I started making phone calls. A short time ago, AT&T sent me this statement. It reads, quote, Our crews are trained to obtain proper permitting, closely follow local construction codes, and work to minimize disruption for residents as we work to expand our local network. We take Mrs. Jones' concern seriously and are investigating the matter. And Mrs. Jones will be compensated for damage to her property. And I did receive a message from Mrs. Jones a short time ago confirming that she had received a call from the company saying she would be reimbursed the money she spent. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Sion, thank you.